today we're talking about pH and what is an acid in a basin. Well, first off, we'll start with from now we're going to call these alkal these basic products. We're going to refer to them as alkaline. They mean the same thing though. So pH is a scale that's been used for, for quite a while. Uh, pH is a measure of hydrogen ions in solution. Okay, it's, it's a logarithmic scale. It doesn't matter. All you need to know is it's a measure of the hydrogen ions in solution. All right. Now. pH of less than 7 is what we call acidic. A pH, and you see that that's pretty much everything under here, of greater than 7 is alkaline. And if your pH equals 7, you are neutral. That's you right here. There are several measures we have of this. We can use a universal indicator. Or we can use a um, pH probe if we want something digital. Or there are a whole bunch of very specific ones, say phenolphthalein or methyl orange, etc., etc. Here is the pH scale, as you've seen it before, uh, but now it's turned on the side, and it's basically putting a bunch of different stuff here, showing you know where it sits on the scale. Gastric acid is hydrochloric acid. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, urine, only almost neutral. This is distilled water. This is the water being, you know, for all intents and purposes, pure water. It's neutral. Black coffee. Um, Perfect, whatever. Just go with that. But here you have these, which is what we've sort of been focusing on. These are all cleaning products. All the cleaning products we deal with at the moment, or thus far, have been basic. All right. So, what is an acid? An acid is something that gives off a Hydrogen ion. Okay, a base. A ba technically, a base is, give, is something that accepts a hydrogen ion, but for now, a base gives a hydroxide ion. All right, so. Here we have a hydrochloric acid, so you've got a Cl minus and with the H plus up here, and notice the size difference. When we put those in water, they disassociate. Now that's actually something we need to do. The the strength of the, the easiness of their disassociation, so how they separate in water, that is that's what defines the strength of acids. So this will give you well, oh, that's the right color. To give you a separate chloride ion plus a separate hydrogen ion. Now, if we use, say, sodium hydro, so that's an A, hydroxide, we're going to have a very similar process. So you've got your, your large sodium atom and your almost as large oxygen and then your hydrogen plus oxygen sodium. Alright, straightforward. Again put these things in water and they will separate to your sodium. Uh, 
and hydrogen. Now, if we add these together, if we add these together, we get a very specific type of reaction. So it's called a neutralization, which I'm pretty sure you can guess. So the, there's a generalized equation, which is acid plus base gives salt. Now remember, a salt is an ionic compound, metal plus a non-metal plus water. For example, HCl plus sodium hydroxide gives sodium chloride plus H2O. Now, that is it. It is as simple as that. So, we've gone from something here with a very, very low pH to something with a very high pH to this, which is neutral. So, if we have hydrogen chloride here, and sodium hydroxide here, and they pour in. What we have that fills up this beaker is a bit of salt and some water. Now, we will test that. You'll have designed an experiment and so forth. But that's it. That's neutralization. That is pH. Generally, when we talk about in this course, of course, we're going to have pH of skin. So, I want you to look up the pH of skin and as you learn, skin is a massive reservoir of blood, I want you to learn the pH of oxygenated blood and non-oxygenated 